Guys, come on over. We have a new haul. Shop with me. Haul. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Folks, I thought you might want to see what I come up with in the last shopping adventures before and after the Easter home tour. What's better than an Easter home tour? Christmas home tour. <laughs> or a wonderful haul like this. Let's jump in and see what we got today. Some wonderful super fan sent this beautiful Arthur Woods and Son from England teapot. It's so much like our other one. Maybe Angela will pull it up. It's incredible with the spring flowers. It's got everything. Crocus, daisies, daffodil, just beautiful. There's violets, you name it. Uh, cone flower. Look at this beauty. Oh man, it's so pretty. I can't take it. That is going to go so well, you know, on our shelves with the other ones. And who doesn't like a new teapot, right? So let's put that over there. So you can keep looking at it. <laughs> what can be better than that beautiful garden teapot? Someone else has sent an incredible teacup and saucer that looks like it goes exactly with this teapot. Unbelievable. This is Fine Bone China by Crown Trent of England. Okay, so it's a different company. Gorgeous, wonderful, floral, bearded iris, violets, there's uh, snowdrops, hard to beat. Check it out. Absolutely beautiful, 22 karat gold rim. And we're just nuts about it. Thank you, mystery friend. <laughs> What's better than a beautiful garden teapot and cup and saucer that looks like it's almost exact is another garden cup and saucer by, by somebody else that is equally as beautiful and just incredible by a different company. Here we go. Daffodil, crocus, bearded iris. There's uh, forget-me-nots, bluebell. Just everything. Fine Bone China Crown Door Set of Staffordshire, England. Okay, we know where all the wonderful teacups and sauces come from. Mostly. <laughs> they are gorgeous. From England. 22 karat gold rim, folks. In that extended helix handle. Classic. Beautiful. Love that. Let's get that up. You guys know that I'm always, this, this video is all about tables and table settings, I guess, today. We are loaded up. It's just how it went. What I was running into finding and how it went on all the avenues that I take to shop. Okay. Now we have, what do I want to hit first? When Angela and I went to Home Goods, oh man, look at this, folks. It looks like California red poppies to me, maybe English red poppies, teapot. Where you're gonna go, folks. I see how gorgeous this is. And just to give you an idea, at uh, Home Goods, this was about thirteen dollars. Kent pottery, you know, but it's made in China, and they're going to try to copy those 
places and towns and so on. So, but it is really beautiful. And if you're on a tight budget, like us, you can still have beautiful in your home. This is a real buy at $13. I mean, wow. You know, where are you gonna go? Hmm, I smell a certain summer table coming with that one. What else we got? I'm holding off on the, I did go to the flea. I got a split show of things here because of the volume. Now you're really gonna crack up. I gotta toot my own horn just a little bit here because this is May's flower, which is mine too, in the Lily of the Valley. This is by Arthur Wood and Sons of England too. I found an auction on eBay and I surprised to say I won it and I didn't get beat up bad either on it. But you can find all kinds of goodies. You guys, you shoppers know how it is. Love this teapot. So you know I have a rhyme and reason because I have May's birthday table coming soon. I love the style and when I started looking at th this company and the name, you know, they're, they're really reasonable. And they got all different shapes, so sweet. For your different tables through the year. Hint, hint. <laughs> Lily of the Valley, coming up for May. Okay, we're not gonna give away everything, but we're gonna talk about some of what we're doing. Can you believe another teapot? That's four in just this haul, right? From friends and store and so on. This little beauty I found on eBay again, and it wasn't an auction, but it had a very, very reasonable price, and I'm going to tell you why. Look at the oval shape. This is so unique, and it is absolutely wonderful. I think we have, yes, an old-fashioned rose on the front. When you have a rose like this that has a single petal array around the central stamen, that's an old-fashioned rose. All these doubles, triples, and big heavy you know, roses are all mostly like a tea rose. A lot of them are hybrids developed over time. This, and there's something about the old fashioned ones and I know a lot of you get it. They're so beautiful too, just on their own because they're in their original God given state, I guess you will, if you will. Look at this. Now this little beauty had, like I say, a couple problems. Not bad enough for me not to want it. Okay, the, the lid has crazing. You understand what that is. It's crackled probably from heat. Okay, either it was close to the stove or it was in a window sill getting hot every day over and over and over. You want to avoid those things with your fine collectibles and porcelain if you don't know. Okay. Also, the bottom, for some reason, again, probably the heat is crazed. I don't see the bottom. What do I care about the bottom? Generally, the fluted shape on the sides, the swirled flute, and it's even decorated on the lesser side or the minor side, okay? We have major side, and you hear me talk, minor side. Cheaper things will have nothing on 
the back or minor side. Okay, so this is the show side. And if you have this on a shelf, this is the way you're going to display it, you know. But when it's on a table and, you know, you're passing it or serving and you set it down, there is something to look at for your guests on the other side. That's a beautiful thing. That's a better teapot. Okay, just for example, this was on there for $10 plus shipping. For that little bit that's wrong, you know, it's not good enough for resale because people, you know, stray away from if you mention anything wrong. But it is gorgeous on your counter or your shelf or your table. So it'll suit me just fine for that money. The 10 and a little bit of shipping, it was still under less than $20 to have a sweet, different pot in our collection. That's what I'm talking about. What else we got today? Oh, I did. Well, let me do one before that. <laughs> Can you believe you see what that did to me, those birthday tables. I have to make sure I have something for each one. Some of them, I didn't have anything. So, Donna, Wolf, you cost me with your idea. <laughs> I'm teasing you, you know, I didn't have to do it, but I want, wanted to do it. We, we wanted to do it. This is a set from the 60s and it's a coffee pot by Pearl China Company. It's fantastic, I thought. Doesn't that just call out 60s or 70s to you? I thought it was superb and it was reasonable I think it was $29 with the matching, the creamer and the sugar ball with the lid. I am nuts about it. Why did I want it? It has a pearl-like luster wear finish. Now I need that for a table and we'll let you think about that one. And it's not for pearl month. Now I did go to the flea. You guys, by now you would have saw it. And I did pick up a couple things there too. This little beauty was there as well. And it's a table I always go to and visit because the guy has wonderful deals. I'm not showing everything in this video because I have another video already in the bank, believe me, toward more towards the summer. You know, we got to stretch things around. This beautiful Nippon milk pitcher in the cobalt blue with the caches. Nuts about it. You know, if you're, you've been on our channel, I have a couple of cobalt blue Nippon coffee and cocoa pots and Demitas cup and saucer. And we have from Elizabeth, we have a couple different saucers in the cobalt blue and one coffee cup or tea cup and saucer from her. Look how sweet. So we didn't have one of these at all. In fact, I'm trying to think if I even have one in the red. Maybe one, probably one in the red Nippon. Okay, look how cute. Oh, just over the moon about it. Out at Daytona Flea. Eight dollars, guys. This is probably, mm, post-war 
1945, maybe earlier. The same vendor had a couple of little Delf from Holland wall plates. How cute can you get, guys? You know I'm going to snap these up because we have our little Dutch corner with all our little Dutch collectibles. And these I thought were superb. Here's the worker here. What else? Oh, and the, another, this guy's repairing his fishing nets along the docks. This guy is a shoemaker. Okay. The glasses let me see that there's shoes and that fish <laughs> on this one. Okay. That's what was going on there. These are superb and especially don't throw anything at the TV now. You'll break it. Two dollars a piece. Mark on the back. Delft of the Netherlands. Beautiful. Okay. Love, love, love that. See the light through the porcelain? Okay. You can even see it for two dollars. Don't tell me you can't collect or you're too hurting, you know. Pass up that cheeseburger or only get one instead of two and you can have those too. <laughs> All right. Now I gotta move along. Angela's gonna have a fit. Let me look at my clock. I'm back on eBay and I'm checking the new table runners because you know we gotta stay fresh and we gotta do something new to see from time to time. This is just as good as I thought it looked when I got it as I thought it was when I first saw it on there. This runner, it's a place called, a word I don't like to use because it's an old fashioned word, doily. <laughs> the doily boutique. <laughs> I don't do doily, okay? But this was in their shop and I wanna tell you, it reminded me of our wedding cake. We had the cream cheese frosting white on white wedding cake. Look at the thing. 72 inch. That's six feet. Absolutely breathtaking, guys. And with the shipping, about $31, just so you know. Look at this beauty. You know, the shorter ones, you can get it for less. If you don't have a 160 inch table like this, just over the moon about it. And I told her in her comments, beautiful piece, really happy with that. Did you think you were gonna get to see any linens today? Here's another one. Every year we're going to pick up a couple new pieces so we can be fresh and make noise and do something different. Right, Angela? I'm making noise. Look at this beauty. This is eBay again. Okay. You see the one on the table. This is just a neutral. I thought this was wonderful. Look at that. See, this is all neutral, no red like that one. And just superb. Look how good. Now also, this is 100% polyester. And you know, the machine done. That's how they're so reasonable today. Machine done and you can wash this in cold water and dry it in your low, low 
dry cycle, put it in a pillowcase and put a clip on it so it doesn't get caught on anything. You know, has anybody ever thought about that? Don't just throw a lacy item like this in with a bunch of junk or even by itself. It can get caught in those little holes, vents, or paddles that are on the inside of the dryer. So that's my thinking to you. Love this, and I think it's five or six. I'm pretty sure it's another 72. Now this actually had buy now or make offer, and it started out at like $28, and I made an offer of 22 and they came back and said 26 and I countered one more time with 24 and got it so I did save the four dollars if you see make offer make sure you utilize that make offer because they'll deal some of them with you back and forth you know how that is just loving those for our collection of linens for the big table. Now, you always hear me say heart of hearts. This next sentimental thing, you'll understand why when I'm done telling you. One of my grandmothers, he had two big beautiful English sets of dishes, every piece that was available. She asked for them for her anniversaries, okay? And this little beauty has not been in our house because they want an arm and a leg and your firstborn and trade in your car for a half a set of, <laughs> okay. I got the deal of the century because like I say, I'm on there shopping. This is called Strawberry Fair. I know some of you know about it by Johnson Brothers and it's from the 50s. And they probably made it maybe 15, 20 years so it just goes into 50 to 69, maybe 70, you know, right in there. They made this pattern. But with the proper back stamp, these are from the 50s. So as a small boy, I remember going for Christmas dinner and other dinners and grandma was a cook, you know, from old school. She could make something out of nothing. Coming out of the Depression era, those people knew how to make a dinner with what they had. And I'll tell you, it was amazing. Some of the best stuff in your memories, grandma's dinners, anyway. <laughs> This is so special, obviously. We'll take a look here. It is superb. Now on another website, you know, like I say, everything is so terrible. Oh, I was telling, most, most people on there, believe this or not, they want $29 for one dinner plate. <laughs> That's why I've, I've never got the set. Sometimes there's only one page of items on there for sale. And it's very popular. When people get a hold of it, they don't let it go. You know how that is. Now, on another site, there were coffee cups <laughs> and saucers. They want 21, 25 a piece plus shipping. Now, 
Okay, can you imagine this? Plus shipping. So I actually found two for $20, including the shipping. I went nuts. It's the only reason I have any now at all. And when I got them in the house and I'm looking back in my reference on my account, my eBay account and, you know, your purchases, I see the guy's got two more. He didn't, I didn't, couldn't see that when I got these. Two more for the same. So, snap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could have got a little break on the shipping if I knew it at the same time. He would have liked that too, you know, him or her. But anyway, no complaints here. You'll see if you look these up at all. Strawberry Fair from Johnson Brothers in England. I'm over the moon. Even Angela was just shocked at what I got the 12 plates for. And I'm just thrilled to be able to have a good part of the set. Now it goes on and on and on. The set. Johnson Brothers, they have everything. You know that. I know sitting here, I'll never have the whole set, but that doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me. You know, you've heard me talk before about the big sets. I know I can do our 12 seater table in the Strawberry Fair. And there's a real sweet fan out there that had sent some strawberry items and I thought I was going to do a five seater table. Hmm, maybe we'll have to do a 12. <laughs> Guys, if you liked our video today, are you kidding? Give us a like, a share, a comment. Call your sister. Tell your brother how much fun we have over here. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Do us a favor. We got a couple of stores. We have beautiful vintage and antiques in there for sale. We have our store on Spring that's a shop and they're both linked under the video. Zip you right over there. And if you don't need anything, we always have super thanks to keep us rolling. And I got a new place I just got a hold of and they're gonna let me film to show you, I think, next week. Thanks, guys. Take care now. Be good. And we'll see you in the next amazing, over-the-top, incredible collector and decorator video. See you soon. Get your table on.